Welcome back, everyone. Finally got back on a live stream today. Ooh, it's winter time. Nice and cold. Let's see where we're at here. We're on day 36, year four. It is minus 25 degrees. 3.46 in the afternoon. Probably going to have about a two-hour stream today. out here and check on our production for NPCs right quick. Oh, got some copper ore. A little bit of food and a couple of logs. Nice. All right. I've got some clothes, extra clothes in my inventory here, and uh, our trunks are all full. We're out of space. I don't know what we're going to do. Got to go give away a bunch of guns, that's for sure. We got a ton of guns last time at the military base. Got a new update to the game today, the clothes are supposed to be better. There may be some new outfits. And I bet you that's why these pants are orange now. I'm pretty sure those were white before. Interesting. Alright, so here we can make plastic, rubber, fuel, alcohol. I haven't looked at this one much. We just got it built recently. How many cars do we got out there now? Had a glitch on our last stream and ended up with an extra car sitting out here. Okay, it's still three. That's not too bad. I'm going to start repairing them and, and parking them over here somewhere. Park them over there, out of the way. Starts a little collection of cars, I guess. Excuse me there for a second. I had to cough. All that pollen still getting to me. A little bit. Ooh, there it went again. Had to get me a little drink of water. All right, let's see. I think our batteries are almost full. That is very close to full. That is full. Full, okay. We do not have a power problem, that's for sure. Kept all those generators running for a long time there and got everything filled up. Been out on missions, not using power, so... Let's see, we did, uh, I did want to get the freezer put down somewhere. We need to eventually finish this greenhouse out here, I guess. Advanced parts and glass are probably the most expensive parts of that. Need to find a good place to put a freezer. Might help if I get my construction hammer out before I do that. Let's see here. That's under furniture. Freezer. We just stick it outside. 
be nice to go against the wall right there. It's not wanting to go there, though. Let's see. Probably should have done something to lay the base out a little, a little better in the beginning. Maybe I don't know. Kind of in the middle of the floor right there. Although there's still plenty of room to walk through here. <clears throat> Would be nice if we could put it inside the control center or something like that. That would be super sweet if we could build stuff in here. Well, let's see. What if we put it... I don't know if it would sit right there. It would be perfect, but it's not. It wants to sit out there. In the middle of the thing. There it's turned backwards, and it would block the chest a little bit anyway. Ooh, ooh, ooh. And we still get to the front of it right there. Probably not the ideal spot right beside the <laughs> yeah, thermal generator. I think we could still reach the front of it to access it. Let's see here. Where is the coils we need? That's the question. Hey, we got an empty chest. Sweet. What? Three of them? Are you kidding me? Huh. Why do you do it all that stuff? Man, he's done some serious organizing if he ended up with three empty chests right there. One of them had clothes. One of them had tools. No, tools is still there. Those two were clothes, and I don't know, remember what the third one was. Oh, man. Setting sweet on ammo and guns after going to the military base. Looks like I need a little shot of water here. I believe Gary's going to be joining here soon. I'm going to sort of try to wait on him and uh, see what we're going to go do today. I know we need to go trade a bunch of guns and finish off his training just to get rid of these guns. We got more than we need. We can loot cars and stuff on the way. Or we can always go <clears throat> do something like a police station or something like that. It's getting awfully dark here. Wow. Let's see. I believe there's a police station. No, there's one down there. Yeah, there was one across the street from the mall, I believe, down there. There may be multiple police stations in that city. I'm not sure. I'm sure there's one up here somewhere, but I don't know exactly where it's at. know that port over there we hit it before that port was pretty slim pickings on loot with plenty of zombies around that's where we ran across the elusive flying zombie if you didn't see that you can go see it in the short that I made about it although it's not super high quality you can watch the full video and find it in there it's on one of the previous live streams I guess we need to build another uh, 
Another home. So we can be prepared. Hey pig, I hear you over there. So we can be prepared when uh, we can go get another NPC. I don't know if we can... Uh, should worry about the rec room or the medical house. Let's see if we got room. Here's not a good spot, probably. Oh yeah, we got plenty of room up here. Don't know if they can get to it easy from back there. I don't know if that even matters. there. Oh, that's pretty straight. Looks good enough. <clears throat> we get that built, we can grab another NPC eventually. Six rubber, six plastic. That's easy. There was a bunch of glass. Don't remember how much. Or was there glass? I don't remember. I'm going to find out right now. Yeah, ten. Okay. Two condenser coils. Pretty sure we have those. I just have to find them. Had extra glass. Intensor coils, batteries, food. Already looked in there. Is that another empty one? What the heck? How did he get so organized? I don't know. It's possible he went and traded that stuff for training. Hopefully he already did that. That'd be nice. Get his training maxed out. We don't have to worry about that no more. First aid, blueprints and weapons, uh, electrical four, here. Okay, there's one. Pretty sure we have two of them somewhere. If not, those aren't too bad to find. Electronic components, 20. Should have those. Takes care of that. Electrical wire 10, advanced parts 40. Uh oh. That could be a problem. There's 10 electrical wire. Um, it's like 28. That one's going to be too short. Aluminum ingots 10. Ooh wee. Oh, we finally got a bunch of... Oh, we broke down all those tools. That's right. We got a bunch of steel ingots. That's good. Silver. Oh, I bet I put aluminum all over here to make my ammo with. Only got five. Oh, there's some more advanced parts. Oh, that's right. I was making some. So with that, did we need 20? Or no, it was more than that, wasn't it? Yeah, it was like, whatever. We'll grab all these. We'll go put them in there. Okay, now we need one condenser and ten aluminum ingots. If 
we need those advanced parts back for something else desperately, we just uh, disassemble that sucker. <laughs> and that's that. And we got an extra mod suppressor for a pistol there. I was thinking about switching to the 44 Magnum pistol for a while. Just to burn up some of that ammo. There's, didn't I put guns in here? Yeah, they're in here. Think about it. Alright. Aluminum, I bet there's ingots in there. Oh, that's where they're at. Okay, one condenser is all we need to finish that sucker off. Where's our ammo? 44 mag. Oh yeah. Might as well switch to that for a while just to uh, start using some of that ammo. Oh, not yet. Mod. care much for the 44 because it only holds seven rounds but it is uh, way more powerful okay where's nine millimeter ammo and this other gun need to go put the gun in here nine millimeter there it is oh I was afraid of that. Oh, we got tons of arrows also. Mm. In lack of a better place, and we'll stick it in there for now. All right, let's see what we got here. Let's get organized a little bit. Let's... That copper nugget is sitting really funny right there. What? Did they make the nuggets now take four slots instead of one? That's what it looks like. Ooh. So we're going to have to enjoy having those in one slot right there until they get moved and it's going to change. Wow. Okay, we need to put this glass over there. Oh, that's some, something part of the update there. Where was that stuff at? Here it is. Okay, so part of the update was close. And they've changed uh, how the nuggets get stored. Okay, we've got plenty of 7.62, plenty of 44, plenty of everything there, it looks like. Okay, make sure we're not getting too low on food and stuff. Found us some carbs here. Get us a cold shower. If it were me, that would make my mood go down right there. <laughs> All right, we're good to go. Let's see what else? Well, we needed one more condenser on this thing. We can get that freezer made. Maybe uh, we won't need uh, to collect so much food if we can make our food last longer. That'd be good. OK, 
Okay, all of our water is clean and full. Plenty of gastric medicine since our character has a weak stomach. Lots of extra gun repair stuff. I'm going to assume he's cleaned all these out. Gary did send me a message saying he needed a lot of maintenance on the base. Let's see, what was the condition of the car? 49%, that's fine. I need to stoke up any stuff in here. I can start making some iron nuggets, I guess. Can never get into too much iron ore. Or iron ingots, that is, anyway. Let's see. I think he had some charcoal cooking in there, but has ran out of wood. In here. Oh yeah, those nuggets taking up different amount of space is kind of weird there. Once you move them, they take up four. Hold on, they're still, they're taking more than one. But the way they're next to each other, looks like they're taking one and a half. See, that's taking up two full slots. Oh, uh, oh, oh. Okay, now I see what they've done. So you can get up to 20. It still takes the same space. Okay. Well, that's not terrible. It's different. Guess you can shuffle them around and move them a lot faster if they're in stacks of 20 than than five. So maybe that's why they did that. See, now if I needed to move all these to the other cooker over there, I would just need to move four or five stacks instead of 20 stacks. So that's actually a really good thing right there. That's really nice. Okay. I was wondering about that. Now we know. That's actually a really good upgrade right there. Now every place that has nuggets in it kind of needs to be restacked like that, I guess, just to make it all consistent and uh, have things not get wacky and disappear or something crazy. Do we got a steel? one for steel ingots. I'm going to stick them in here because I want to juggle those nuggets over there in the electric furnace. That's going to be a big help, actually, to make this stuff better. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a different kind. No wonder. There we go. They're a little strange-looking until we get them all sorted back out here. Kind of like stacked on top of each other almost or something. Those 
bottles are kind of off the screen there too. It's kind of weird. How did that get on the floor, I wonder? That's weird. I wonder if it was in here and it got shoved out when all that happened. Could have been. Unless the same thing's happened over here. No, not really. Huh. I don't know. Alright, well that didn't take too much to get that fixed up. I don't guess we need to concentrate on the gunpowder and the <clears throat> bullet making so much anymore since we're stocked up so well on bullets for the time being. Daytime again. Sorry if it was blinding you. It was me a little bit. <laughs> I know it's darker on the stream than it is for me. Okay. So we got uh, that cooking. Got a lot of nuggets over here. Maybe if we just go ahead and make those into ingots. We don't have to shift them around. That might be a smart thing to do. Ooh, we got a bunch more glass here too. Yeah, I'd rather do that than shuffle them around again. <laughs> All right, I don't even know if we need to fool with this thing. At the rate we're going, we're going to find enough food to keep going. And if we can get the freezer made, we can actually store mm -hmm. it and keep it long enough to, to actually use it. We might be good to go. We just need to find another coil, cooling coil or whatever it is. Oh, what was that? Oh, okay. Got some extra smokes down there. Blueprints machine. More guns, more guns. Okay, the other one was over here somewhere. Maybe it got stuck in one of these gas boxes or something. Extra clothes there. Allison Mike. Well, there's food here. Might as well cook it up before it goes bad. Let's try a chicken and two oranges and a chicken and a carrot. All right. 
that savory fruit stew. Barbecue. And a roasted vegetable shish kebab. Getting a little better at cooking on here. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see. We've been here about 30 minutes. I was expecting Gary to join, but uh, maybe he got held up or something. All right, what are we going to do then? We've pretty much taken care of everything here that we can do. For the most part. We need to get a coil. Since I'm not finding the other one, which I'm pretty sure we had too. I don't know where they would have went. They got stored in one of these other benches here, maybe. I hadn't looked in everything yet. That one's almost full. There it is. Oh, look at there. <laughs> nice. All right, we can put the freezer together. Okay. Yes, we can still get to it. Not connected. No use connecting it to. Oh well, I guess we can go ahead and put. I can go ahead and put that food in it. Let's go to connect to bank two. I don't guess it really matters. They're all full. We can, we can put all this food in there. I can get a little more life out of it. Next time we have a big load of food, now we have more space for it. <laughs> Connected to bang two. Okay, there's enough space in there for a little bit more stuff. Well, I was about ready to run up the road and that uh, that little industrial area close to here, right there north of here, has a lot of that kind of stuff. It's a perfect place to get that kind of stuff. Solar panels, condensers, all that stuff. Oh, we got more nuggets on us over here. I didn't see that. We'll just drop those there for now. And let's see. Let's decide what we're going to do. Well, I don't want to go try to one of them police stations by myself. If I don't have to. Uh, let's see. What about... thing I kind of been wanting to do is that place right there a little basketball court there's a crawler in there I'm pretty sure yeah, I wonder one of the carts are gone I wonder what happened did he use it and leave it somewhere here it is I left it over here. Must have been working on something. We don't really need any supplies other than uh, probably food since our food's about half bad already. We could go check the grocery store over here. Let's see. Oh, he took out the gate right here, I think. 
wonder if they were still trying, the zombies were trying to still come through that gate. That's why he took it out. And he definitely extended this down further. They must have been coming around the end of it here. That's probably what he's using the cart for. Oh. Oh, I forgot to reload the guns. Okay, well it only holds seven, but it does only take two shots instead of six. So really kind of evens out like that. Doing all bent over like that. Oop, that was a headshot. Comes the dog. And a policeman. Oh, they're just uh, guessing. They don't know where to go. Alright. That missed. Oop, shot him in the foot. The policeman's running pretty fast, but he don't know where to go. That was a good shot. We can go ahead and take most of them out from here. Go over there and collect some food. I hear him. Uh-huh. out that dog still over there. But we do got a 44 Magnum. fast on the 44 though. That's for sure. Hey there. Uh-oh. One of them got a lick in on us. Oh, are you kidding me? I don't have any bandages? Oh, I got a first aid kit. We'll have to use that. Shouldn't have used the ointment, I guess. There we go. Okay, we'll go back to the base. I gotta make sure I get some bandages. Pretty handy having right across from your base. Although you do got to build that wall if you don't want them harassing you all the time. Of course, even when they did, it was only three or four at a time at the most. It wasn't too terrible.
just a reminder if any of you haven't heard me say it before want to get on here and play with us it's really fun and uh, all you gotta do is go on our patreon hey don't do that hands off the car Part of the reason I started doing this was uh, because of that. So, if you would like to join us. Uh oh. Not again. Are you kidding me? From that one hit? Man, I have to go back to base and grab bandages. Take that. I meant to grab the pistol and I accidentally pulled out the <laughs> spear. Not a big deal. We took care of business. There we go. Meds are always welcome. Uh-oh. Got the slow walk going on. We'll do the shake, rattle, and roll here. Really, you show up while I'm doing the slow walk. That's crazy. Look at all those batteries. Weighing it down. Alright, well, we don't need all those parts quite so much. Go over here and get food. Shots matter. All right, let's get food. Assuming there's any in here, it may be empty from last time. Nope, take it. Oh yeah. Let's get this stuff out of here. Although it might be cool to build a freezer there and uh, some power nearby. <laughs> Loot all the food, throw it in the freezer, and leave it there. And keep it there for us for a long time. That'd be kind of cool. Always.
series than I thought. Can have more than one base. Oh yeah, look at that. We just really hit it on food pretty good there. We're checking the back for the seeds. Just in case they possibly have the uh, medicinal herbs. Need those seeds. Guess they're in the back on this side only. Food, we'll take that. Hitting a big time on the food. Just the seeds, herb seeds. We'll take it all. Oh, let's see what we don't have. Be nice to get the fertilizer. Oh, I guess we could just eat something here. Eat that. Oh man, that's almost too bad too. There we go. Don't need the magazine, we'll take it. They wanted those herb seeds and the fertilizer. I think that's good enough. Definitely be good on food for a little while. See if we can get across this curve without breaking the truck. About destroyed the little white car last time. Trying to get across there. away this food right quick. Hopefully it'll keep for a while in the freezer. That's a lot of little food bars. That's pretty good. Those are nice. There are a lot of carbs for the space they take. Okay, we need to... Put those in there. That goes in there. Seeds can go at their space. There we go. And we need either bandages, yep, and first aid. First aid overflow. That many antivirals and antibiotics. I don't think we do.
Okay. Where's the magazines? Over here? Yeah. Dump that in there. Couple of nuggets and we're ready to go. Oops, wrong one for... Oh, hold on, we got rotten food here. Yep, that can go in there. Just dump the nuggets over here. that many cans of WD-40. I don't believe so. Let's get organized right here. All right. There we go. Yeah, we definitely don't need that many of those. And we don't need that many bottles of water. those out here in the ice chest. <laughs> Uh-oh. Maybe not. Be nice if we could store them right here in the water fountain. Can't do that. One thing we can do is drink that. Put the bottle in the trash. These extra ones right there. Oh, I just saw we have a thing of toxin there we don't need. Where would we want to put that? Probably in here. Okay, where are we going today? Let's go to this city right over there. And see what we can get into. I don't want to go do a police station, but we've got so many guns and ammo already. We really need space more than anything. I wonder if the uh, bandits all respawned in that place over there. Hey Laura, how you doing? Sorry, I just now looked up and saw your chat in the uh, recording screen. It's really small. The other little two chat windows I have for YouTube and Twitch are not showing in the little side window I have for some reason. I apologize, I didn't see it earlier. 
keep my eye on the, uh, I was watching those, now I guess I need to keep my eye on the little recording screen where I can actually see it over there. Unfortunately, the uh, software that I use for that is free, so kind of get what you pay for. And it's only the second time we've really used it. So I assumed a little side chat window there. I just didn't get logged into it properly or something. This looks a little different right here for some reason. Could be wrong. There's like a little... Almost like a little town, like a little area there. I've never been over there. Then we'll go check this out instead of going to the city. Check out something new. And one thing, you sure want to go slow getting in here. Trying to keep an eye out and see if I see any great big zombies or crawlers or something up here that we need to watch out for. Oh, there's a gas station. And I did not see a ton of gas. And our gas box over there. Been burning it in the generators and stuff. So, probably wouldn't hurt to uh, Grab a little gas. Uh-oh. Yeah, little spitters, the one that hurt me over there in the food store parking lot a little bit. Luckily he didn't get us this time. Well, we just took out a bunch of zombies there right quick. Oh, we're not done. Missed. One, two, three, four, five. It was like seven. That's eight. Roundabout. about. Could be off by one or so. That's nine. That was a headshot. I wonder if after the update there will actually be food and water in the gas station again now. Uh-oh. up and personal. Alright guys, I left you leave me alone for just a second. What do we got here? Infection, we need antibiotics. I saw it for once, hey, hope everybody's proud of me. <laughs> I usually don't look up soon enough and see those. Let's get ourselves reloaded here, just to make sure. I don't want so many come out of nowhere there. I know one thing, I sure wish we could put a... 
extended magazine in the 44 Magnum. That would be super nice. Another one? What is that tree spawning zombies over there or something? Alright, now. Hey, where'd the truck go? Didn't I park it right there? Did they push it back? Oh, there were so many of them, they might have pushed it back. Wow. They didn't damage it too bad. No, don't look like it. I was trying to park it here by the gas pump. I guess they pushed it back. That was wild. Didn't see it happen, but I was a little busy running for my life. <laughs> Yep, there we go. Oh! That one was the jackpot right there. Yeah, our problem's gonna be the normal. It's gonna be space. You know what I'm gonna do? I don't even want these batteries. Truck need one. Uh, let's see. Yep, perfect. Oh man, come on guys. Give me a break. Oh man. What are they doing? Well, that was weird. Oh. Places loaded pretty good here. Oh, and there comes another one. A green one. What's going on? His arms are rolling. Wow. This little area is a little more exciting than I expected it to be. Dang. Messing with my truck like that. Oh, hold on. What? Where'd he come from? He just spawned in right here somewhere. There's no hole in the fence. I'm just trying to gas up the truck. Just trying to get us some gas so we can uh, run our generators at home if we need to. And if we don't, which we don't, don't right now really, when things are full, we got enough gas right here to drive our truck all over this map. Alright, let's go see if there's any food and water in here. They'll leave us alone for a minute. Yay! It's back. The last few we stopped at didn't have any. Sounds like a freaking spitter, too. Uh, maybe not. Oh. What is this place? Maybe there's something pretty good around here. There's so many of them. What is that back there? It's like a farm. 
That looks like a farm back there and a regular house there. Don't look like anything special. Wow. Oh, all those bottles of beer or wine or whatever they were were bad. Oh, we did get water. Did I ever get this cleared out? I don't even know. Guess I did. Oh. Yay, yay, yay. Well, at least we got water. for a second, can they? Get off my truck. Don't touch the vehicle. They're spawning in out of nowhere, too. And you know one of these are going to be alarmed. And have guns in it we don't need. We're going to need to smoke that snogie after finishing all this, that's for sure. Katana. We already got all those. I would park on the road. Yeah, you're right on that one. I should have parked on the road this time. Sorry, it took me a second to read it. Uh, on my screen, it's kind of small. Let's go ahead and dump that battery out. I don't know if that matters when these things refill or not. I think we're going to get us a nice little snowstorm here. Okay, this one's full. We're gonna have to go do something to get rid of all these some of these guns. Oh <laughs> Okay, I think these are in here staged ready. I think Gary put them in here to stage them and get them ready so we can go finish off his training or something maybe. Yeah, they knocked about 10 or 15 off the belt on the truck. Let's see if we can get out of here without making it any worse. What I wonder is if there's anything here at all worth going with. Maybe we've already brought out all the zombies from over here. to me almost. Because if he would have been in 50, within 50 feet of here, I would have saw it. Unless he come running up on me real fast and I didn't notice. Kind of like that. Oh, shot right over her head.
Oh, wee. Oh, no. You gotta be joking me. Oh, it's too close to the table. See what's in here now. Dude, come on, give me a break. I'm trying to pick up a little ammo here. ones and twos. I don't know exactly what Gary needs to finish out his stuff. Oh man, are you kidding me? Is it worth fighting all these zombies for? Well, we did get ammo there. <laughs> last one for a little while. just don't like being in here in close quarters with them like this. Oh, there we go. That might make up for it a little bit. Ooh, the baby's room. Okay. Gully, I know if you need clothes, where'd you go? Ooh, a safe. Let's just close that door behind us. Oh, man. <laughs> All those pistols downstairs. Oh, man. If you need training, this is the place to go. Did I need a scent based blueprint? Maybe. Because you can get all them guns and go trade them for training. And there's blueprints and books in here. Oh, five master of weapons. I don't know if he needs that or not. Let's see what's in this safe. Oh, I think that's the first time I've ever broken a lockpick. Whoa, are you kidding me? Now, 
I gotta know what's in that safe. Oh. Well, look at there. They've added uh, two more skills in here. Now, I wonder if we only get those from doing things. Or do we have to learn something for those, too? Well, that'll be interesting to find out. Alright, so... Did we need that scent bait for something? Scent bait blueprint, that is. There it is right there. We'll hold on to that, I guess. Any other time, I would have probably had a bunch of extra lockpicks. Oh, look at there. <laughs> Imagine that. Oh, we need a pathogen. Okay. Well, we gotta hope those herbs don't go bad before we get back to base. Oh, nice. Take those meds. Alright. Here's the plan, man. Go back to base. Grab a pathogen. Get that unlocked. Before the uh just on herbs go bad. And grab a bunch more lock picks. Come back and find out what's in that site. didn't know that. Yeah, you're right. I mean, that's why there's so many. Ooh, I hope they don't respond before we can get back over there. Now I'm feeling bad about leaving. <laughs> I'll probably open that space. <laughs> that safe. <laughs> And there'll be like one magazine in there or something. That's usually how it goes sometimes. Break 10, 15 lock picks and open it and there's a can of rotten food. <laughs> or actually what it'll probably be is guns that we don't need. Grab a repair kit while I'm in here. Go ahead and fix the truck back. Pathogen. Apparently, there's one here somewhere. Did I leave one in here? Toxin. probably didn't have anywhere else to stick it and I stuck it in the wrong place. And now I'm looking for it, trying to find it, and it's not where it should be. That's usually the way it goes.
know I had one and I know I stuck it somewhere. Probably one of the benches over there. Cloth and med overflow. Well, let's go ahead and dump at least those in there. <clears throat> there. Where in the heck did I put it? Alright, that's crazy. In here? Could it have gone bad wherever it was? Don't let those go bad. One thing, I burned through a lot more ammo than I wanted to on that one. I'm going to carry more 7.62 than 44. I'm going to have to use the 44 just as a backup only. And I wonder where the 5.56 and 9mm are. And shotgun shells. Well, for now, they're going to go right there. I'll put these coffee beans in here. Alright, now we're pretty straight. Just need that toxin. Or not toxin, but uh, pathogen. Absolutely know I had one earlier. I definitely remember seeing it. I just don't know where I put it. Well, I we guess we might as well eat while we're here. Oh, we gotta get some sleep here soon, too. Might as well get our cold shower while we're at it. Need to pump water. That much. All right. Oh, there's the <laughs> there's the five five six ammo and stuff. Twelve gauge. Well, I know I didn't. 
Oh yeah, those clothes look different too now. This update did uh, change the clothes a lot. The colors. Even that fur coat I think looks different. There's a toxin. I remember having a pathogen that was up here somewhere. And I stuck it somewhere. I just don't know where. Okay, I guess we won't be learning... Uh, learning that today. Let's um, do this. And the hopes that they'll stay good longer. We'll stick these in here. I don't know if that's true or not. And I think there were two of the scent bait blueprints. I should have grabbed both of them. When we go back, I'll grab them. Alright, so now what we need is tool lockpicks. Should have been looking for them the whole time, shouldn't I? Oh, there we go. I don't know how many it'll take to get into that chest. I'm taking 15. Usually don't need any. I broke six over there. Okay, so now we're almost ready to go back. I need to get water. Make sure we got our spawn point. I don't know what we had it set to before. I think it was here. But better safe than sorry. night time. Let's get our brightness up a little bit. I didn't mean to jump up. Oh, look. You made a mannequin uh, thing, I guess, that, yep, displays your armor. Sweet. It's even got a backpack on there. Nice. Didn't know he'd made that. Alright, let's see. We got plenty of ammo. We got our lock picks. Got bandages. We got energy bars so we don't have to worry about the food too much. And we got water. Alright, let's just go. Um, we could. Take some of this loot out. Did I pick up those batteries? Or were they already in there? Oh, toolbox. That stuff must have already been in there. Yeah, those batteries need to be traded. Sold or something. I'm not taking them in the base. The green one we'll keep. Toolbox we probably don't need, but just one. being this is going to be our dump box because we got a bed. I did keep an extra battery there. Oh well. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Should label that sucker dump box and be done with it. Make sure we didn't leave a backpack laying there. Sure hope those zombies didn't respawn. Just what we need. Go to another gun store and get more guns. Oh, slow down. 
about to get carried away. Forgot to get a repair kit and fix the truck real fast. I don't really feel like going through all these backpacks trying to find one. At the very least, I want to pick that safe. I want to see what's in it. I got to get that rotten food out of there. <laughs> Matter of fact, I think that's my first safe. I've been playing this a good, pretty good while. I've never done a safe before, I guess. I've unlocked doors. They've always been real easy. Was this area even here before? Or have I just went by it that many times and just didn't look over this way very much? I think that's what it is. Alright, let's go pick the safe first. Alright, I'm not seeing of zombies, that's great. I we got back quick enough. It didn't respawn. Should have made me a new spear. Hold on, there was no door on here earlier. Can we close this one? Oh no, it's double doors. Alright, let's go do the safe. We'll come back and check the kitchen, maybe. All right, here we go. I don't know if it's the same as before. Nope. Oh, man. Come on, guys. I hear him. Yeah, maybe they don't know where I'm at. Alright, let's just try it. Dang, this sounds tough. Alright. Sewing machine blueprint and still crafting. <laughs> well, since I broke that many lockpicks, I'm taking them anyway. Armor piercing arrow. Master of weapons. that new skill we need. Yeah, it don't look like it's those. Yeah, we don't need that. Hmm. Alright, let's see if any of these pertain to that. Tailoring. Mechanics. Scent bait. Well, even if we don't need the second scent bait, Jerry Mick can use it. Cooking electrical. So I'm not seeing any books that pertain to strength or skill, so I don't know if we get that through fighting or what. We've been doing a little bit of melee here and don't look like it moved, so not quite sure. What it takes. Oh, she tore that door down, apparently. Man. The hoarder in me it makes it really hard for me to leave this stuff behind.
fish bait, armor piercing arrow. I know we have that. Breeding and farming. Yep, none of the books seem to be to pertaining to those new two skills. I knew which things Gary needed. I could grab some of those for him, but I don't know what he needs. Oh, got some coffee. Ooh, no. Got some ammo. This house is loaded. Holy cow. Ammo, food, meds, everything. How much space we got? Not much. Oh, man. Well, there's our carbs. We can top those off. Top our water off. Why is it only giving me drop? Oh, it's empty. What did they do? Leave me an empty bottle for. Holy cow, I guess that's why there were so many zombies here. This place is loaded. This is the most loot I've ever seen in a place. Whoa! I gotta go unload. These backpacks are going to be full quick, because some of them's already full with guns. Let's try the third row here. Maybe the third row's empty. Good. zombie toxins there. Alright. Well, I didn't plan on uh, looting this much stuff out of here, but... The hoarder in me makes me pick it up. I'll use that as an excuse. boxes at least. Oh, there was two in each of these cabinets. Green battery. Hmm. Nope. Oh, I'll do that one. Guess not. Oh, yeah. <laughs> wow, this house is loaded. That's as good as a gun store. This house has more than a gun store, usually, other than maybe the guns. And then it did have uh, six pistols. I'm full again. And the shotguns and st yeah, stuff upstairs. So it almost was enough as much as a gun store. This house has... Well, if you count the food and the beds, this house is better than a gun store. That's crazy. Is that empty or full? Empty. Trash.
Wow. Now that was the bag shuffle if I ever seen it. I don't know which one ended up in there. The right one. Well, we got plenty of ammo on us now. Wow. Food all in the floor, dropped everywhere. Bottles of water. I think those black cans will end up being bad, but... Alright, now. <laughs> wow, look at that. That is nut nuts. We're just about going to have to go back to the base now and get all this in the freezer. Get rid of some of our old food. Wow. All you got to do is wait till this house restocks if you know when your restock happens. When everything respawns. Come over here and hit this gas station in this house. And you're good for a while. Wow. Can't believe how much is in here. Although, come to think of it now. Yep, now that I think of it. Um, preview. Oh, we don't have space for all those. Previously, when the gas stations were not spawning food, I didn't even check the garage yet. I turned the loot ratio up on this thing. And maybe after today's update, it's now putting loot in like it was supposed to to begin with. Holy cow, look at that. And maybe that's why I'm doing so much. So if you do this one on the single player game, you may you may not get this, this kind of loot. Because this is excessive. <laughs> yeah. This is excessive. Which I'm not going to complain, other than for storage. Mm, mm, mm. Yep. As usual, the problem is storage. All the bandages. <laughs> we about filled the truck up already? Are you kidding me? Of course, it was kind of had some stuff in it already because of the guns, but still. Oh, there's our repair kits. We'll go ahead and repair one those while we're at it. Oh yeah, we're down to six. Definitely needed that. Alright, we'll just grab the rest of this stuff. the toolbox.
Yep, this one house is better than any police station I've seen. Or gun store, I mean. I've done a couple of gun stores. I don't think I've done a police station. But this is definitely better than a gun store. Minus some rifles. <laughs> oh my goodness. Good thing we don't need toolboxes. Wow. That's really something right there. full enough. What a trip. If anybody's done that place before and seen that kind of loot, let me know. But I think it may be because I turned up the loot ratio. before we were not getting much loot out of most places other than like the military base but the gas stations had nothing in them other than gas and the cars had no food or water in them and that's why I turned up the loot ratio trying to get that to populate in there properly and it still didn't the loot ratio. I should leave it. It's almost not going to be as fun because there's so much you don't you don't really need anything. That probably need to turn it back down at least to default. And I'll have to see if I can find out what the default setting is. I believe the settings 1 through 5 or 0 through 5. Assuming I turned it up to five, it, I think it might have been three, might have been the default. So I might turn it back to that just to keep things interesting and fair. This is almost. Oops, I parked a little too close to the house there. Don't the backpacks to bounce out into the house or under it. the medical overflow, the other one. That was one, the other one was over here, and that is bright now. There we go. Med overflow. Yeah, that's real funny. Real funny. Just real funny. the 9 millimeter ammo. Don't matter, they're all full. Alright, well, this is our dump box basically. We have a place for the nuggets. I bet we don't have a place for those shoulder lights. Okay, we do got cloth here. The wires can go in 
one here, I think. Lock picks. Don't need all those anymore. Broke into our safe. Throw these knives right there. All right, that's pretty close. Well, all right, that's my time limit for today, guys. I appreciate you watching. If you're interested in getting on here and playing with us, all you gotta do is go join my Patreon. Cheapest one's only three bucks a month, but that keeps out the bad guys from coming in here messing with us. Are you serious? Come over here. Cut me up like that. What the heck? Did they tear down the wall? And what happened to my view? Oh, weird. I had to right click to get my view back. It's like zoomed in or something. Those suckers tore down part of the wall here. I wonder how long that took them. They sure were wanting in bad, weren't they? Here we got a runner. Zombies don't, uh, don't respect my time limit, do they? Saw something running down there. Okay, maybe not. Well, I'll be. I wonder if you turn it with the log on the outside if they're able to climb up on there. Probably not. Whoa, what happened here? Did those jokers come in here and bang up our cars too? Holy crap. What the heck's going on? Park it over here, kind of out of the way. The trunks are still backwards. When you close it, it closes, and when you open it, it o or when you close it, it opens. When you open it, it closes and stays that way. The truck used to do that. I guess it's acting better now. Yep, it's behaving better. They need to fix the car, I guess. Probably should park the truck more in the back or around to the side so they don't bang into it trying to get to us. Wow, that was crazy. What the heck was I even doing when they came over here? Oh, I was trying to sign off. <laughs> well, as I was saying, thank you for watching. If you're interested in getting more playing with us, join the Patreon. We'd like to have you. It sure is fun playing with more people. Be cool to have three or four people on here at least, if not more. If you're not subscribed, please think about subscribing and give me a thumbs up if you like the stream. We'll see you on the next one. Probably back maybe tomorrow night, if not tomorrow, Saturday. 
We'll see you then. Have a good one.